One day, during my sophomore year, I confessed my feelings for Alyssa Hashimoto, my childhood friend that I really liked. I've liked you since we were kids. Alyssa? Will you please be my girlfriend? I mean, if it's you, Keigo, I think we should give it a try. Just like that, we changed from childhood friends into lovers. But a week after making it official, we were in a good mood at the park, so I decided to go in for a kiss. I'm sorry, I can't. I don't think we should be in a relationship anymore. What? Why? I said yes because you asked, but I don't actually like you like that. And so she dumped me in just a week. Uh, it was only a week. Keigo, I heard Alyssa-chan dumped you. You got the news fast, Yoshida. Who told you? People are talking about it in the group chat. Everyone in the class already knows about it. Ah, so it's common knowledge now. Pretty embarrassing. Come on, don't be so sad. Cheer up a little. I'll treat you to food next time. Thanks for being nice to me. Like that, I, Keigo Hirata, was feeling super sad for being dumped. I looked over at Alyssa, who was talking to her friends carelessly. Man, she doesn't seem to be worried about me at all. Unfortunately, Alyssa and I were in the same class. That made me feel even worse, but... Huh? Komori-san? Suddenly, I made eye contact with one of Alyssa's friends, Kasumi Komori. Well, I mean it was more like she was staring at me the whole time. And I mean the entire time Alyssa was talking to her other friends. Is she laughing at me? Because of the fact that I got dumped? Ah, Doesn't seem like that, though. For some reason, Komori-san kept on staring at me. Feeling awkward, I looked away. Next time I looked over at Komori-san, she was talking excitedly with Alyssa and her other friends. What was that earlier? Did we just meet eyes by accident? Or was she looking at something else? I thought I might have just been overthinking. Besides, we had no connection. We were in the same class since freshman year, but we've only spoken to each other once or twice through Alyssa. But I discovered that it wasn't just my overthinking soon enough. That day after school, when I was on my way home alone... Hirata-kun, are you going home now? Yeah, um, Komori-san? What's up? Suddenly, Komori-san came over to talk to me. Are you sad about the breakup with Alisa? You look pretty bummed out. Yeah. Did you talk to me because you were worried? Yep, I was just curious about how you were. You know, if you'd like, I can cheer you up by petting you. <laughs> I'm okay. Thanks for worrying about me, Komori-san. She was a very bright goyal, but she also spoke like she was making fun of me. To be completely honest, I didn't like her very much. As to why she's talking to me now, not so sure. But on the next day, I felt like someone was watching me, so I looked over my shoulder. There, I made eye contact with Komori-san. So she is looking at me, but we're in class right now. When we made eye contact, Komori-san gave me a small wave so that no one would notice. Wonder what she wants. Hey, what do you think it means if a goyle makes eye contact with you and waves at you during class? A boy might wrongly think that the girl has feelings for him, but maybe she's just waving at him because they're close friends. Eh, it doesn't seem like that, though. What? What are you talking about? Did you start playing some kind of role-playing game or something? There was no way that she'd have feelings for me when we've never even really talked in the first place. But when I think about the fact that there's a possibility that she likes me, I feel a little weird. I know it's inconsiderate to feel something for a goyle right after getting dumped, but... Again, after school on that day, Komori-san came over to talk to me. Hirata-kun, are you walking home alone today too? Yeah. Ain't you walking home with Alyssa and the other goyles? That's what I usually do. But I was actually waiting for you. She might just be making fun of me, so I shouldn't expect something to happen. But for some reason, I could feel my heartbeat getting faster. Wonder if it's because I'm inexperienced with goyles. Then can you follow me somewhere before you go home? There's a place I want to go to, but it's weird to go there alone. What? Uh, uh, that's fine. Weird place to go alone? I wanted to find out why she'd make eye contact with me during class or talk to me after school. So I followed Komori-san like she asked. Komori-san! Over there! There! You have to reload quickly! Ah! <laughs> Sorry, I lost again! Komori-san and I went to a gaming center near the train station. 
There, we just play games together. Hirata-kun, do you feel better now? Yeah, thanks. You were trying to cheer me up, right? Yep, that was part of the reason. Part of the reason? Suddenly, Komori-san's expression changed from happy to something a little more serious. Would you be bothered if I said that I liked you? What? I asked you to hang out with me, partly because I wanted to cheer you up, but also because I wanted to spend time with you. I was surprised by the sudden confession. Sorry, I know I shouldn't say something like this knowing you just got out of a relationship. Honestly, I think I've had feelings for you since freshman year. But why? We never talked much, right? Ali said Chan would talk about you a lot, and so I knew you were a good person. Really? Alyssa said that? What'd she say? Hmm, like how you treated her to food, or bought her expensive presents, things like that? Uh, I don't think that's a good poison. Isn't that something that's just convenient for her? <laughs> Probably. But I thought it was sweet how you did all that for someone you liked. I got dumped by Alyssa either way. Oh, but don't worry. I like equality in my relationships, so you don't have to worry about spoiling me like that. But I... You still have feelings for Alisa chan right? Yeah. It's only been a few days since we broke it off. <sighs> Kago-kun, did Alisa chan tell you why she dumped you? What? Yeah, she told me she didn't actually like me. Oh. What's wrong? It's nothing. Anyways, Alyssa chan seems like she's not too worried about it. So you should get over it too. Yeah, I mean, I can't be depressed about this forever. Well, I told you how I feel. Do you think you can think about possibly being in a relationship with me? Oh, yeah. Sorry, can't say for certain right now. I'll make sure to give you a clear answer when I get my feelings sorted. Thank you, Hirata-kun. At night, after the events of that day, I thought about Komori-san. Not so sure about jumping into a relationship right after I got out of one. Wonder if everyone else would care if they were in the same situation. Didn't seem like Komori-san was making fun of me, so I wanted to think that what she said was the truth. I was happy, if I was being honest. Komori-san was just as pretty and popular as Alyssa. Wasn't just her looks, neither. I was happy that she tried to cheer me up after I was dumped. As time went by, my feelings started to lean towards Komori-san. A week after Komori-san's confession, I asked her to come to a secluded area behind the school. Sorry about making you wait for an answer. If you're okay, even if it's just me, I mean, I would like to be your boyfriend, Komori-san. Really? Yay! Just like that, Komori-san and I made it official. I learned more and more about the good parts of Komori-san after we started dating. She was the type of girl that liked to take care of people and was super understanding. She spoke with me while taking my feelings and nervousness into account. Still feel nervous around her but being with him made me feel comfortable. We were on a date at a cafe at school when... My treat. Nope, let's pay separately. But don't boys usually pay during dates? Then, you can pay for me when you become a working adult in the future and get a good paycheck. That's a long way into the future. Wait, does that... Does that mean... You'll be with me in the future too? <laughs> she was loving, kind, smart, it made my heart beat faster with the smallest actions. There were times when I wondered if it was okay that I had a girlfriend that was as wonderful as her. But just like that, a week passed after we got in a relationship. Right when I figured that I might actually like Komori, I mean, Kasumi. Hey, Keigo, I wanted to talk to you about something. Alyssa? What is it? Alyssa stopped me on my way home. Kasumi had something to do in the office, so she wasn't around us at the time. Alyssa and I talked alone. Something we hadn't done in a while. Is it true that you're dating Kasumi? What, you didn't know? It's been like two weeks already. Oh, don't you think it's a little rude that you're dating Kasumi right after we broke it off? What? What are you saying? Break up with Kasumi. Don't you still have feelings for me? That doesn't make any sense! Why do I need to break up with Kasumi? Weren't you the one that dumped me? I'm saying that I'm giving you another chance to date me. That still doesn't make any sense. Sorry, but I don't plan on doing that. When Kazumi finished what she needed to do at the office and came over to us, Alyssa walked away looking irritated. Keigo, 
were you talking to Alisa earlier? What were you guys talking about? Nothing to worry about. You didn't tell Alyssa that we were dating? Yeah, I didn't know how to bring it up. The next day, I heard something unpleasant. Hey, Kago, did you hear? I heard Alyssa Chan started dating a handsome upperclassman right after breaking up with you. What? Do you think she broke up with you so that she could date that guy? How could she call me rude when she did that? I mean, it's better than cheating, I guess. Hey, Yoshida-kun. Sorry, could I borrow Keigo? I wanted to eat lunch with him. Go ahead. You're so lucky that you have a girlfriend, Keigo. I'm so jealous. You go, man. <laughs> Watching Kasumi blush made me forget about the fact that I've been irritated by Alyssa just oilier. By the way, why didn't you tell Alyssa that we were dating? Um, I didn't really want to mention it, but... As Kazumi said that, her expression changed into an awkward one. Alisa apparently liked this upperclassman from a while back. She kept asking me for advice about it, so I told her that maybe she should break up with you. Aw, uh, that ain't your fault, though. Don't think you need to feel bad about anything. I do, though, because I wanted to date you, too, and things happened the way they did. I hoid after this conversation that Alyssa and Kazumi's friendship fell apart. They were turned off by all of this, right? It's kind of like I stole one of my best friend's boyfriend. Nope. I'm happy. Huh? If you didn't tell Alyssa that, there was a possibility that she would have cheated on me. Plus, I'm just happy that a wonderful Goya like you wanted to be in a relationship. I'm not that great. I feel like I did something terrible. Even if everyone thinks that, I still love you, Kazumi. Thank you, Keigo. I love you too. There were events like that, but Kasumi and I's relationship grew little by little. One day, after school, Alyssa suddenly asked to talk to me. Thanks for coming, Keigo. What's up? I'll get back together with you. What? I heard rumors that you're dating an upperclassman. I broke up with him. I thought about it and think that you're more fun to be around. Plus, you're a good guy. You mean a convenient guy you can use, right? Sorry, I'm sorry. I won't ask you to pay for me anymore. I won't beg for you to give me gifts either. So let's get back together, okay? Of course, my answer was already decided. No can do. Right now I have a girlfriend that's important to me. You should just break it off with Kasumi. Don't plan on breaking up with her. I love her. Um, Kego, didn't you always like me? You know how they say girls like being chased more than they like being the one to chase? Stop it already! I told you, I don't plan on getting back together. Please, just look at me, Kago. You're making no sense. I just can't. If that's all, I'm leaving. Try to leave Alyssa, saying that Kasumi was waiting for me. Please, Kago, you're the only one for me! What? Hey, get off of me! What are you doing? She suddenly hugged me from behind. What do you mean? It's a hug that means I love you. You never did that to me when we were dating. Right now, I'll do anything for you and let you do anything to me. What? Don't you want it to do more than hugging or kissing? I'll let you do whatever you want, Kago. Alyssa, no! I already... What are you doing? Kasumi, this is... Kasumi saw us at the wrong time. Sorry, Kasumi, but I want to get back together with Keigo. What? What do you mean? Kasumi, this isn't what you think it is! So, can you break up with him? Give Keigo back! Kasumi's shoulders were shaken. Her mouth was closed shut, and she was looking down. I didn't want things to get any worse, but when I tried to shake Alyssa off... What do you mean, give him back? Keigo isn't a thing to pass around! Kasumi? W what? Kago and I are childhood friends! I have a closer relationship to him than you do! Let go of me, Alyssa! Kago! Yeah, we're childhood friends. We've known each other for a long time. But our relationship seemed to be shallow. But... but... The only poison I love is Kazumi. So don't bother us anymore! Kago! <laughs> Leaving the crying Alyssa? Kasumi and I left the scene. Ah, <sighs> what's wrong with her all of a sudden? Sorry, Kasumi. Got you worried there, right? <sighs> Kasumi? What's wrong? If it's Alyssa hugging me earlier, there really wasn't anything... 
in that moment, Kazumi suddenly hugged me. What's wrong, Kazumi? I'm just happy that you chose me. I'm so, so happy. Of course I would. You're the only one I can see myself with, Kazumi. Keigo, I love you. Please, stay with me forever. As long as you're willing to let me, please, stay with me forever too. This event deepened our love for each other. As for Alyssa, everyone drifted away from her after finding out what happened, but... Hey, Alisa, did you watch last night's episode? Well, it, yeah, I watched it. I can't believe things happen like that even when it's almost the last episode. I wonder what's gonna happen next week. I, yeah. I honestly think that Kasumi is the kindest Goyle. Despite everything that happened, she still made conversation with Alyssa because she was worried about her. Might be hard to fully repair their... Might be hard to fully repair their friendship, but Alyssa, who had no friends left at the time, should slowly get back to her normal life. A few days later, Alyssa came up to me and apologized. She seemed to really feel bad about what she did. Seems like the cause of her actions was because the upperclassmen dumped her and broke her heart. One day after school... Did you make up with Alisa? Yeah. She apologized and told her that I forgave her. Things might still be a little weird, though. She's a good girl at heart. I'm sure you already know that, though. It seems like that upperclassman really messed around with her feelings. Hope she can find someone good for her after this. You're worried about Alisa, too? Yeah. We've been friends for a long time, after all. Anyways, Keiko. What? Kasumi? Thank you again for choosing me. Yeah, um, of course I would. Let's stay together forever, okay? A lot of things happened in the past few weeks, but I was able to end up with a loving and wonderful girlfriend. My days after were amazing, and I'm still living the greatest life I could. All I want is to make Kazumi as happy as she's making me.